On Saturday afternoons in Brooklyn, an assortment of bodybuilders and figure competitors gather for a posing class. Ian Mercer was a bodybuilder in the 1960s and is now a legendary expert on the fine art of posing. His class is an exhausting two hours of nothing but turning, flexing, turning, and flexing. He runs his students through the mandatory poses again and again, preparing them for the judge's scrutiny. Ian walks the line like a drill sergeant, making minor and sometimes not so minor adjustments. Keep it tight, keep everything tight. Hold tight, hold your head up, open your shoulders. That's it, tighten that leg now. There we go, hold it tight. Coming down the line, hold, 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 hold it, set it, set it, lock it, hold. Hold, 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 tight, tight, kick it out. There we go, hold tight, hold it, hold tight, hold it, spike it, pop it, pull it out. And conquer three, one. Among two, this group three, of hopefuls are those who have already competed in bodybuilding contests, standing alongside those who are anticipating stepping on stage for the first time. Also here, most Saturdays, is the two-time Arnold Classic winner and Mr. Olympia Squeeze. contender, Kai Green. How's it feel the second time around? I mean, the, the first, nothing can ever replace the first time, as we all know. How's it now? The what does it feel like? It feels amazing. And I encourage anyone, anyone out there who ever had an idea a thought about something that they'd like to accomplish, or they'd like to, but, it, but they know it would, it would demand the best of their efforts and the, the most of their concentration and, and everything that they had inside of them in order to get there and make it happen. I encourage you to do it. And when you do, then you'll know exactly how I feel, right? Very good. It would be tempting for a bodybuilder of Kai's stature to think that he has arrived and that he has learned all he needs to know about his sport. It's easy to let the accolades and the glare of the spotlight cause you to forget the work that has gotten you here and the work that yet needs to be done. Kai knows better. Those star moments that, you know, fill the highlight reels and, you know, leave an audience in awe to watch. Oh, wow, play that again, I wanna see that. Those seconds are built on thousands and thousands and thousands of hours that a lot of people wouldn't think are worth, you know, adding to a highlight reel. Basic fundamentals being applied over and over and over and over again. Getting up a certain time, doing certain things, cooking your meals, going to, you know, do your cardio, walking through the disciplines, keeping the checklist and staying on top of them. Those are the things that, you know, when you string them together, start to create a day of efficient action. The more likely you are to string those days of efficient action together, the more likely it will be that you can set up your own success. So far in this day in the life, Kai has done his cardio early in the morning, shopped for food, cooked and packed it. These are the building blocks of any successful bodybuilder's daily routine and cannot be skipped over or ignored. These fundamentals seem simple, and Kai can sound repetitive when asked to talk about it, but it is this relentless, repetitive simplicity which is the foundation of bodybuilding and can sometimes be its most difficult aspect. Some of Kai's duties that are not a part of the lives of most practicing bodybuilders at the amateur level are the obligations to his various sponsors personal appearances, guest posing, photo and video shoots like this one for the Train with Kai instructional series are all things that can interrupt the schedule of day-to-day -day activity. And yet, despite all of this, those fundamentals of bodybuilding must continue to take precedence. One of those fundamentals is posing, which brings us here to a Saturday afternoon posing class that Green attends once a week. Though this is not a daily thing, Kai feels that it is an indispensable part of his weekly routine. Everything tight, good, relax, catch yourself, take a deep breath. To me, posing is the end of all the hard work and all the dieting and everything. It is the, the work that you do to get your, your degree. 
I look at it like this, you're in school, training every day. You're in school, you're doing your work. Now you go to the show, that's your graduation ceremony. Your posing is your walk to get your diploma. Right, closer to your body. Right, hold tight, hold tight, lock it, pull it down, and set it. Let's go, right, all the way down and then set it. Hit it, come on. Even as a teenager, Kai was an excellent poser breaking new ground by incorporating hip-hop moves into his routine. In 2007, Kai exploded onto the scene with his now-famous Dirty Diana routine and has since taken posing in a new direction. Some people love it, some people hate it, but no one can deny that Kai is anything but an expert. And yet he humbles himself once a week and continues to learn from his original teacher. Hold it, hold, pull it back to me. Every now and then you need a tweak. See, bodybuilding is subjective. A good bodybuilder or a great bodybuilder would always look for what he can improve on. Nobody's perfect. You can always learn a little something. You might forget something. And somebody can see something that you forget and tell you, look, hey, you forget how to hit this. You gotta do it back then. And then you remember, oh yeah, I used, this is how I used to do it before. And you go back to old school and it works. Sit on their hips. Ready? Hands behind your head. Abdoms and thighs, leg of a choice. Sit on that leg, sit back, crunch, and blow it out. Tiny abs, blow it out, blow it out. Squeeze them quads, crunch, pull, hamstring, there we go, hold the head up. Hold tight, pull, lift it up. There we go, hold it, and then you set it. There we go, hold it, pull tight, head up, pull it. The most muscular, I gotta see every muscle, squeeze, legs, Trap, chest, abs, arms. Your quad is the most important thing here too. Tighten them up, squeeze them, hold tight. Hold tight, good, relax, stand up, thank you. Though Kai is naturally a shy person, he nevertheless spends some time as the center of attention once the session is over. He's used to it, of course, but he's always sure to maintain his eating schedule. The next stop in our day in the life is the gym. As we drive, the exhaustion of the bodybuilding lifestyle begins to show, and Kai quietly nods off. It's got to be tough moving 275 or more pounds of muscle around all day, and it's not over yet. Kai is very fortunate that by this point in his career, he can pick and choose where he trains. Most days, he works out at the mecca of bodybuilding on the East Coast, Powerhouse Gym. Run by husband and wife bodybuilding legends Bev Francis and Steve Weinberger, at Powerhouse Gym, you can never be sure which star of the sport you may run into. And fans of Kai know that he is always willing to take some time to say hello or take a picture. This gym has been the location of many now famous video and photo shoots over the years. Chances are, if the photos in a bodybuilding or fitness magazine article were shot on the East Coast, they were shot here. Although those kinds of pictures are beautiful and inspirational, and an example of the best that bodybuilding has to offer, they don't really reflect what life is like in the gym every day for someone like Kai Green. For one thing, he would never train shirtless, and in fact only reveals himself when urged to by a photographer. He always remains covered up and does not practice posing in the open areas of the gym. Many theories have been advanced to explain the reasons for Kai's ever-present hoodie, but it's really very simple and practical. Thermogenesis, that's my secret. Now, I just feel comfortable. In a, in a, I do sweat a lot, though, so it's a little bit more convenient than a t-shirt. If I had a t-shirt on, I'd have it be all over the place. I'd have to be wiping stuff down. I mean, a hoodie is more absorbent. On this particular day in the life, Kai begins his gym session not with cardio, but with a 12-minute warm-up for mind and body. He then performs a long and careful abdominal and stretching routine. His focus during this time is so strong that the photographer and I dare not interrupt him. Beginning with the documentary Overkill, I have made the observation many times that Kai seems like a monk. He lives a sparse, ascetic existence by modern standards. His deep philosophizing, the extreme dedication to his goals, his discomfort in the spotlight, and the ever-present hood all add up to give him the aura of the holy man of bodybuilding. I'm not sure he sees himself that way, but it's hard not to make the comparison, especially today. 
you ever see like people chanting or Buddhists doing things with their breathing and using their breath to start to alter this, their mind state. I'm sure on some level, in some way, the simple 12 minutes or so before I get started on the floor training, this moment allows me the ability to kind of walk through some exercise like that. You're regulating your breathing or using it as a device to be able to suspend those thoughts with other things. I try to get focused on what I'm about to do, get it done, and then try to keep moving with the continuing of my day. As with the posing class, it is this kind of meticulous attention to detail that creates a champion. But Kai Greene's life and mindset were not always so controlled and structured. Earlier in the day, we stopped at a diner. Kai ate his prepared food, of course, and he explained to us how bodybuilding provided a very necessary catharsis for a young man in a bad situation. Everything else was a mess. Outside of my life was a, was a mess. Just socially inept, did not fit in, did not feel like you fit in, anger management, getting into fights, raging against authority, not developing or cultivating relationships very well, insecure, just a whole lot of things going on. But in the gym, all of those things that were a weakness were a strength to me. I was able to summon a tremendous amount of intense energy. Um, just, and be intense, just allow myself to be intense about something it's like those other times when you're ready to explode and be angry and violent and ah, take it, kept bottle it up. Now bring it into the gym here in this moment and release under under the weight. I think about being strong, think about dominating, think about overcoming. And as you're thinking that, you, you want to act it out. It just so happens that while you're acting it out though, you're underneath that same weight that would have crushed you if you were thinking those weak thoughts. This thing is gonna crush you. And then if, in another mindset, maybe it would have. But, you know, the normal mindset of just being relaxed and sedate and without fight, yeah, it's gonna crush me. But it, that moment you already explode, you took it, you put it in, you fouled it up, went to the gym, put you now underneath the squat rack, Right. In the bench press, under the iron, okay, and release. Oh. Man. So you think you're channeling anger, basically? Every tool will help you get where you're trying to go. Once you are clear about where you want to go. The picture that Kai paints of his young self contrasts greatly with the steady and thoughtful Kai we see today. And I get the feeling that he wants to spread the word to other young people about the benefits not only of weight training, but of mind training as well. That's critical thinking skills that you're gonna need more refined and developed as a man 10, 15 years down the line in ways that you do not see right now. Another reality of the bodybuilding day in the life is that every day is not always a heavy day. Today, Kai concentrates on what are called the finishing exercises. In this case, the calves and forearms. This is necessary in order to create and perfect a balanced overall look. Other days, Kai lifts heavier. And in our final segment, we will see a Kai Green leg workout that for me redefined the word hardcore. It doesn't matter where you're at at the time that you dare to dream and it doesn't matter where you've been. Now, six, let's go. Just keep dreaming and keep working. Nine, yep, let's go, let's go. 10, drive. And the better picture that you're looking to create for yourself, it can be attained. Let's go, let's go, let's go, now. 